Hi everyone, it's Angel and I am studying abroad in Cambridge this term, winter term or as they call Lent term. I thought I'd give you a little recap of what it's been like moving in. So essentially my flight yesterday was at 6 p.m. I was scheduled to arrive in the Heathrow airport at 10 a.m. in the morning. I was really excited to get food on the airplane because I haven't done that in a while. I was just really excited, I don't know why, but we got this really good halal butter chicken with basmati rice. It was so good. There was like a salad on the side. And in addition, for dessert, they had this milk bar crumb cake, which was birthday cake flavored. I was really excited to get that. I played so much of this game called Block Breaker on like the tablet. It's actually addicting. I'm proud to say that I got a high score of 35. I like averaged around like 25 or something. And then I ended up watching The Matrix, which was very interesting. Since we were arriving in the morning, they gave us some breakfast foods. I decided to get some coffee because I knew it would be a very long day and I would need it. And they also gave us some strawberry yogurt and a cinnamon biscotti. And then I finally arrived. <laughs> I had to go through customs, show my passport. I had letters from the University of Cambridge and Caltech. I got through, there are so many different things here. First thing I noticed, of course, is everyone has British accents. Also like the signs in the airport were different. Bathrooms are called toilets. Elevators are called lifts, which is interesting. It's typically called baggage claim is baggage reclaim. A very small difference, but you can definitely tell you're in a different environment here. I got my checked in bag from baggage reclaim and I also decided to exchange a little bit of money just so that I could have a little bit on me in case I ever need it. Here's what it looks like. It's very durable. I think it's waterproof. I don't think you can rip it. I don't want to. It also has the queen. I then headed over to the bus station, which is really close to the airport. I ended up waiting there for like three hours. While I was waiting there, there was this mini grocery store. So they had this lunch deal, which was great for only five pounds. You get a sandwich, a drink, and a snack. It was very convenient. I ended up eating that while I was waiting outside. <laughs> The weather here is actually a lot warmer than I expected. It's not like warm, like you definitely still need a jacket. I expected it to be freezing cold, like as if it was snowing, but it's actually pretty nice. I finally got on the bus at around 2 p.m. I rode it for about two and a half hours, but there were two stops in between. Not that bad. I just slept for the entire time because I was so exhausted. I really didn't get more than like two hours of sleep every time I tried to sleep, immediately knocked out. They dropped me off at Parker's Peace, which is I think like the central park in this area. At this point, I got there at around like 5 p.m. The sun literally sets at like 4 p.m. I was going to Uber, but I decided to walk. It was only like a 13 minute walk to Pembroke College, which is the college I'm staying at. There were a lot of people outside still, and it doesn't seem that dangerous. And, this area at least because it's mainly college students and there are like a ton of shops. Okay, I just got out of the Porter's Lodge because I got to Pembroke. For people who are there 24 seven all year round and they help you with your key, any packages that you have, and they are so nice. The Porter's, they were so nice and they helped me a lot. I was like blown away. I ended up having a package from who used to live in this room. It was really funny because when I got the package from the porters. They're like, oh, what stuff do you have here? And of course, in British accents though. They were like peeking in. They were like, oh, you got so many cool things. I eventually got into my room. I made it to my dorm room and just look at this. So that's the bed. It's a little small, but it's okay. It's just supposed to be for one person. Oh my gosh. I have a key to get into my room. I also don't have a ham card yet which is basically like your ID card. That should come in a few days and that helps you scan into the colleges when they're closed at around 9 p.m. I believe. 
when I got to my room, let me tell you, this room is crazy. It's so nice, like so much better than all the other Caltech rooms, to be honest. I am in Foundress Court, which is the newest building here in this college. So of course there's that side to it as well. And it's a single. I wanted some fresh air cause it was like so hot from walking over here. So I opened the window, but now I can't close it. And also the top hinge is kind of coming off. So I had to call maintenance. Okay, window is fixed and now I'm actually going to unpack. They also provided so many things, sheets and pillows, pillowcases, including a desk lamp. Here's a little bathroom tour as well. Um, I don't have my own bathroom, but the communal bathroom is literally like five steps away from my room. I met up with Iris, who is the other Caltech student studying abroad here. It's just us two this term. I am actually starving and exhausted. It is 6.16 right now, so. We're gonna go get some food. Hello. Hello, this is Iris. We're getting dinner now. First night in Cambridge. Yeah, very jet lagged. We got dinner, I got tonkatsu. I got that because it was super cold outside and it felt just so nice with this like warm bowl of ramen. It was really good. And I also got a green tea on the side for some extra caffeine. We also visited Iris's room in St. Catherine's. Her room is really cool. It's two stories. The bottom area has like her desk and everything. She has her own private bathroom as well, which is super nice. And then you go up the stairs and that's her bed. She also has a little closet up there. It's very cute. Okay, so I just got back to my room. It's currently like 8.30. I need a shower because I am absolutely disgusting. On the plane, I sweat so much since I'm like kind of recovering from a cold. It's better if I'm like warm than cold. So I kept my jacket on, but let's do a quick unboxing. The first thing, color by liquid laundry capsules. Ooh, some tissues, yay. Ooh, immune support, black currant and raspberry tea. A helmet, ooh, perfect. I need to go rent a bike soon. Some paper towels. Whoa, what the? Some push pins. Ooh, some baby wipes. Epic paintball events. Oh my gosh, quenching shampoo. This is perfect. I was actually gonna go buy some, but I don't need to anymore. Wow, oh my God, such a surprise. Like, thank you so much. And after that, I just checked my emails. I also showered, um, got my bed ready, and then I ended up going to bed at around midnight. The next day, I woke up at 1 p.m. I got plenty of rest today. I ended up missing brunch, which is on the weekends because they close at 1.15 and I have no idea where it is yet. But tomorrow I'm supposed to be getting brunch with one of my college parents. I ended up meeting up with Iris and her family, but on the way I went to get a little breakfast because I didn't want to be hungry. I just got this apple crumble. And then I walked to the river cam, which is like the main river in Cambridge, I believe. Um, there was punting there. You can do that. I am surprised that you can still do it because I thought it would be too cold. We walked around some of the colleges. We went to Corpus Christi. It was beautiful. The lawns here are all just so pretty because you're not allowed to walk on the grass. It's so green. I'm sure they maintain it really well. I think only the fellows are allowed to walk on the grass. We also visited King's College where they had this beautiful chapel. I'll insert some videos here. Um, we got to walk around a little bit, but they closed in like 20 minutes. So we didn't get too much time in there, but it was really pretty. Also the King's College campus is also just so pretty. I think both King's College and Corpus Christi are very popular for tourists. It ended up raining really hard when I got here yesterday. It was like actually really dry. Luckily, Iris's family had an umbrella. So I just got back into my room. That's Foundress Court, which is the building I'm living in. Definitely one of the newer buildings. And right now I'm feeling pretty good. I think I'm gonna recover from jet lag pretty quickly, but the sun is about to set, which is crazy because it's not even four yet. Overall, I think I'm really gonna enjoy this place. Classes haven't started yet. They start on Thursday. I'm really excited to have this experience. It'll definitely take a little bit of time to settle in. I haven't even unpacked all my stuff yet. So yeah, that's my move in vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna try to make some more content how everything is going once classes start and I meet more people. Please look forward to watching those and thank you guys for watching. Bye!